Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. Today's video is going to be about how to make the rich even richer and people won't even complain. How is this for a video? Oh. <laughs> uh, so, this video is going to be a bit of a, a whinge and a rant and see what's going on and why I'm glad to be away from, from all of this. So, how to make the rich richer and that people can't complain about it. And it's, it's, a simple, it's a simple process because it works throughout business and industry and uh, you can just see it's working. And in the video, I'm gonna give you some examples of how it works and why people can't complain about it. Because if you complain about it, you're against the system or you're against what they're trying to do. So this has become apparent in America. I'll start off with America because as I say, this is where it sort of started from really. And basically whatever happens in America happens over in the UK also. So let's start off with the government and businesses and industry and things like that. How do you make money? If there's a problem, you look at it and you solve the problem. So in America at the minute, what's the biggest problem? Housing and drugs and things like that. So housing, how many homeless people are there in America? Thousands of homeless people in America. And in reality, nobody wants to Nobody wants to deal with it because homeless people create problems. Nobody wants a drunk or a, um, somebody who was high on crack or meths or whatever. So there isn't the facilities for these people. So now the problem is there's lots of people in tent cities and living rough and things like that. And what's happening? People are complaining about it because there is mass homelessness in America. One of the wealthiest countries in the world. Or maybe it's the wealthiest country in the world. So how come they have this problem of homelessness? So what's the answer to it? Create a solution to this create a solution to this that people can't complain about because this is what people are complaining about in the first place, homelessness. So of course nobody wants to see homelessness because it is horrible to see. So what do they do? It's simple. <laughs> it's so simple. Everybody can see it but you can't complain about it because if you complain about it you're doing something against are you against homeless people? Are you against what we're trying to do? So it's gone from landlords not wanting homeless people because there's no guarantee. The problem is always going to be there because if the high in drugs and things like that, they're risking damage in places and who wants to live in a building apartment full of drunks and people on drugs, nobody wants to do that. So there's a lot of derelict buildings in America that can be converted into living accommodation. So now the government is saying, we're gonna stop this problem with the homelessness. So we're gonna make homes for the homelessness, uh, for the homeless people and their drugs and that. And it's going to be guaranteed by the government. The government are going to give incentives to landlords to house these homeless people who are on drugs and things like that to get them off the street. Now that's fantastic, isn't it? It's a fantastic idea because America, the wealthiest country in the world, has a huge homeless problem. So who's going to complain about you know, putting up with the homeless people. And 
it's a good gesture by getting them off the street and compassionate and you know and this is how it should be there shouldn't be this type of homelessness in one of the wealthiest countries in the world but of course who's going to buy all of these derelict buildings and convert them the wealthy people are going to buy them because now they've just been given government funding government guarantees that if these people damage the property they're going to get reimbursed by the government if these people don't pay their rent they're on benefits anyway or they're on social security or because they've got problems and things like that there is help for these people so the government are going to pay and who gives the money to the government ordinary working people taxpayers so ordinary working people are paying for these people who don't contribute to society who have problems and again, I'm not blaming these people for having the problems or, or having their, you know, problems in life with drugs and things like that. But how do you make, how do you think it makes the ordinary working American who's just about keeping up with the pace of everything? Working hard, but in, in reality, probably both people are working just to maintain the roof over the head when somebody who doesn't contribute to society is now going to get government backing and funding and in a house where they can live and be totally paid for it and you as a ordinary American citizen how can you complain about that how could you look people in the face and say I don't want to give a homeless person anything so consequently, so consequently, the wealthy people buy these properties up with the government funding to, to give them money for these people to live there because they have the problems and things like that. So if you complain about that, then in reality you hate the homeless. So now they create a situation that if you complain about it, you're anti-homeless, or you're anti-trying to help people. And who gives the money to the government? You do, hard-working Americans. And usually what happens in America happens in England as well, because, so I can see this happening also in England, because it's the way of business. Create a problem, find a solution, act on the solution. And at the end of the day, the wealthy people who have the money to help the government out and fix the problem are going to benefit from this. Now another little example with regard to England about creating a problem, finding a solution and then funding this solution. The corruption that went on in England because obviously I follow the English news, I can see it. But I would imagine it also happened in America. And I'll just give you one example. One MP. One MP in England was awarded a contract to provide PPE. Personal protective, in, in, personal protective equipment during the corona time. And it was at the time when all the... All the um, manufacturers couldn't keep up with the pace because the whole world wanted it. And this one MP, they went from selling um, beauty products, was now awarded a £150 million contract to provide PPE. And when she bought it, she was selling it to the health industry. I think... I th don't quote me on these exact numbers, but I think it's, it's, it's around about this. Whereas procurement before this lady got involved with this was about 15 pence per mask. 
and when she procured it, it was 33 pence per mask. More than what you could actually get a manufacturer to make them for. And she got a contract for 150 million pounds. And the best thing about it, it wasn't up to NHS standards. So they declined taking on these PPE. So it was stored in, in a warehouse and it was costing something like a million pounds a month to store all of this PPE. That is no good to anybody because it doesn't come up to standard. Now that case is still ongoing and uh, it's sort of gone quiet. But that's just one, one problem. And it's, you just, just look at all the problems they are in America and in England and who's paying for, to fix these problems? The government. And the government are going to charge you and me, the average working person, the money to solve these problems. In England at the minute, we have lots of people coming in illegally on the boats. From France over to England. Now this is another problem. The problem's been made. So how do we fix the problem? At the minute we're paying millions of pounds a day for hotels and accommodation. We've rented big barges to, to house 500 people at a time. Nobody wants them in the area. Nobody wants 500 illegal immigrants in their neighborhood or town. 500 men, imagine your little town, wherever you're living, there's instantly 500 guys are there. Now I've got nothing to these people, I've got nothing against these people for seeking a better life. But when the system is rigged, and now, through an invest journalist, investigated journalism, they found out there are lawyers I'm going to do another video about lawyers. Never ever trust a lawyer. They are crooks with a legal certificate to steal money from you. But that's another video. I don't like lawyers one single bit. But sometimes in this world you've got to have a lawyer for certain situations. But lawyers are legal crooks. So anyway, these lawyers tell these people who have arrived in this country on a boat, illegally, tell them to make up a story. Make up a story. And if you tell them you've been badly treated, you're going to be killed, blah, blah, blah. And the worst the story is, that the, go the government can't check up on it, because we have that many. So they get, 75% of the people that are coming here at the minute, get legal asylum, because, because we can't check on what they're saying. So therefore, they get in. Or it takes years and years for him to process him. <laughs> so that's another problem. Create the problem, which, which they have. What's the solution? Is some really expensive hotels are putting them up and charging money to put them up. Charging a lot of money to put them up. What about the firms that are making all the food? Because they have to be fed. So now there's how many firms are feeding these people? So how much is that going to be paid for a retainer and things like that? Bus companies are on standby to ferry the, these people from where the barges are going to be. So the bus company's on a retainer. Do you see how creating a problem creates wealth for the wealthy people? And the people who pay for it are you and me, normal working people. Now, like I said, I've got nothing against those people who are, who are seeking a better life for themselves. This is what I'm doing by living in Thailand. I, I feel I have a, a far better lifestyle living here than living back in the UK with all of its problems. And I've just highlighted a few things, like with America, and just sit and look and watch what's happening as to who benefits from all of this lot.
And it's the wealthy people who have the money, who have the friends in, in high places, who come up with the idea. Let's solve the homeless problem. Good idea. Guarantee us money. It's a never ending supply of money and if they cause any damage, the government pays. Good idea. And who pays for it? We do. We're actually giving the rich people more money because they're solving a problem for us because we don't want to see homeless people. I don't want to see homeless people on the street. I really don't. I think it's very, very sad that people live in such poor conditions. I live in a, in a, some people would call it a third world country in Thailand. There's no benefit system, there's no social security, or there is, it's so, so low. I think my, my wife's grandmother gets 500 baht a month, which is like a tenner, 12 pounds a month in benefits. 12 pounds a month. Anyway, that's my rant over. That's my rant over about how the wealthy are getting more wealthy by us and they're creating a problem and raking all of this extra money in. And we can't complain about it because if you do, you're against the system. You're against the homeless people and people are making millions of dollars out of homelessness. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below. And until the next time, bye for now.